I wanna talk about what it means when Medicaid says they want to be the payer of last resort. What does that phrase mean? So essentially in the world of Medicaid, the, the program has made it clear that if you, meaning the potential Medicaid applicant, are potentially eligible for other programs that can help pay for medical bills or long-term care expenses, they want you to go ahead and apply for those programs and not just rely on Medicaid, even though Medicaid might be the easiest to get or Medicaid might be the most beneficial for you. If you have the ability to apply to qualify for other programs, you need to go ahead and do that or Medicaid has every right to deny your application. So in other words, very commonly we see this in the world of veterans. Right. If you are a veteran or you are the widow of a veteran, you are likely entitled to or potentially entitled to VA benefits in the long term care world that's sort of commonly referred to as an improved pension with aid and attendance. Well, even though you may say to yourself, well, I kind of like what Medicaid provides a little bit more than what the VA might provide. I would suggest to you that it's always better to layer benefits whenever you can. You get if you get benefits from multiple different programs, that's almost always going to be to your advantage. But it's a condition precedent. Meaning Meaning Medicaid has the right, if you're a veteran or the widow of a veteran and you would be entitled to these aid and attendance, long-term care benefits, Medicaid would have the right to deny your Medicaid application only because you failed to apply for these other benefits. So same thing with Social Security Disability Income or SSI. If you have the ability to get benefits from other programs, Medicaid has the policy of making sure you are committed to at least attempting to obtain those benefits because Medicaid wants to be the payer of last resort. So in our intake, when we ask questions like, are you a veteran? This is what we're getting at because we'll ask the follow-up question, are you receiving any veterans benefits? If not, we may help you walk through the process of applying for those benefits before we submit an application for the Medicaid waiver program to pay for care at home or in a long-term care facility or the ICP program to help pay for care in a nursing home because Medicaid again wants to be the payer of last resort. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you're anywhere in the state of Florida interested in learning more about Medicaid planning or estate planning, please give us a call and set up a consultation. Thank you for watching.